base hit, right field corner. And they're going to rule fan interference. Yes, they are. They're going to put the runner at second base. Now, it's not automatically two bases. It is in the judgment of the umpires, and they're going to rule two bases here. But it's not automatic, and Tom Lasorda is going to come out and argue. First base umpire Brocklander went out right away and gave the signal, the hands up over the head, holding one hand with the other, indicating fan interference. You will recall that earlier in the ball game when Reynolds hit a shot in the right field corner, the ball was not touched by a fan according to Brocklander. Reynolds ended up at third base on the play. Yeah, the ruling is fan interference. It makes it a dead ball automatically, and then the umpires have the opportunity to put the runner where they think that runner should be if there were no fan interference. Now Brocklander comes all the way over from first base and Lasorda is hot. He is really going at it with John McSherry. And there's also a little frustration in terms of this series involved in this argument. So it is a double for Shelby that drives in Marshall with the Dodgers' second run, and the Pirate lead is 6-2. to two. It may be that Lasorda is bringing up the play that we saw earlier, the fact that Reynolds was able to get to third on a very similar play back in the fourth inning. Tommy Lasorda has had his say with the crew chief and third base umpire John McSherry. You'll be able to see it right here, the fan. Yeah, there's contact made. The ball is hung up in back of his hands. So he either hit it going in or coming back off the fence. On the Reynolds three base hit, a fan reached over, but it seems like the ball never was touched. Yeah, the signal from Brocklander back in that inning was no fan interference. He gave the safe side. You're going to Jim Lena now. You're going to escort that fan out of that area. Not pleasing the Dodgers and the Dodger faithful. The fact that the fans here feel that that fan has, uh, that particular fan has cost the Dodgers a base. Again, it is not an automatic book rule double on fan interference. It's an automatic dead ball right at that point, but the umpires have the opportunity to put the runner where they think uh, the runner belongs. 